Rahul Gandhi was convicted by a Surat court on the 23rd of March. Four days have passed. Even if you take the weekend out, Rahul Gandhi still had enough time to go to court this morning. He could have gone to the Sessions Court, he could have gone to the Supreme Court. The Congress has chosen so far not to go. Now, what's the strategy at play? Are they trying to drag this on to project Rahul Gandhi as some kind of a martyr? And is the BJP very happy if this happens? Because the more publicity Rahul Gandhi gets, the more 2024 becomes a battle between Modi and Rahul, the BJP thinks that is to their advantage. What really is going on? Joining us on this broadcast, representing uh, the Congress, Supriya Shirnet, Shehzad Punawala represents the BJP. My colleague Rajdeep Sardesai is with us. He was in that press conference uh, where Rahul Gandhi went out, all guns blazing against the BJP. And Yashwan Deshmukh from Sea Water is with us as well. Let me go across to Supriya Shirnet first on the issue of why. Uh, the Congress and Rahul Gandhi haven't gone to any court, whether it's the Supreme Court or the Sessions Court, in appeal against the conviction order of the Surat Court. Are we to believe that the Congress wants to drag this on because you want to project Rahul Gandhi as a martyr and therefore you are in no hurry to challenge his conviction? So there are two things that I would want to say to your question. A whatever the Congress's legal strategy is going to be is not going to be discussed on public television and certainly not on a television debate. Uh, I'm very certain that the legal team has arrived at a conclusion. They will be acting. It's actually quite strange for me to hear that we are trying to project him as a martyr. We don't need to. I think Rahul Gandhi has lost his membership simply because Mr. Modi had no answers to his questions. He has lost his membership because Mr. Modi is scared to answer his questions on Adani. He asked for time twice from the speaker in writing, once in person. He was denied the opportunity to speak because his next speech would also have been on Modi uh, and Adani's relationship and would have raised questions and which is exactly why his membership has gone. We have no, we have no misnomers, we have no misconceptions about it. So whatever our legal strategy is, I'm not going to discuss this here. But be rest assured, we are not dragging it. We will take the right legal recourse. And yes, the people of this country need to know that the most prominent opposition voice has not just been suppressed, it has been denied to speak in the House. Shazad Punawala, Rahul Gandhi's big argument in London was that democracy in India is in danger. The roots of democracy are being hollowed out. In the manner in which he's been disqualified for making comments, much lesser than some of the comments that have been made in the heat and dust of politics. The Congress is saying this is QED. This is exactly what Rahul Gandhi was saying. Now you want to throw him out of his bungalow. You've disqualified him the next day. Rahul Gandhi is being proven correct with every single day saying that democ democratic institutions are under threat on your watch. So first of all, I think that the courts have disqualified him and convicted him. Unless his argument is that the courts of this country are playing into a vendetta politics of the BJP and are trying to harass him, then that's an argument he's making against the courts. Secondly, I think it's pretty rich for a party that has indulged in 1975, imposed emergency, did not allow the favorite singer of Rajdeep Sardesai, Mr. Kishore Kumar, to sing his songs on All India Radio. They kicked out journalists, imposed censorship, played havoc with the Supreme Court, should come here and lecture us about institutions, forget everything else. I am shocked that Supriya and her former avatar was a journalist, or at least she uh, masqueraded as one. When a simple question was posed to Rahul Gandhi from a journalist, even one sitting here, the response that he gave was certainly most disgusting response that you could have given to a journalist. Who speaks and says, Hava nikal gai to a journalist and that to somebody who has been covering the party for 15 years. So I don't need lectures about uh, institutions and about democracy from them. It's like the Satan preaching scriptures. But there are three points that need to be addressed. Point number one, the courts have held him guilty. Are they saying that the courts have allowed this entire process to play out to suit us politically? Point one. Point two, he has insulted the OBC community because the Modis come under the Ganchi Samaj and Rajdeep knows that they come under the Ganchi Samaj and they feel aggrieved and they have proven their case in court of law. Point number three, in Pawan Khera's case, you could reach Supreme Court in two hours. Here, your foremost leader, you haven't gone. Okay. So clearly, there is either a sabotage or either it is a case of where you it's want to... It's been four days. They could have gone the day of the conviction, the day after the conviction, they could have definitely gone on Monday. They could have even tried to go on a Saturday. They didn't. So obviously there is some strategy at play. What is it? 
Two points. One, I don't think you can compare it with Pawan Khera's case. There are two very different cases. Pawan Khera's life and liberty was immediately at stake. He was being taken to SM by the police. You can't compare it to Rahul Gandhi's case, where there was a 172 four-page uh, order in Gujarati. I'm presuming that they will go to court one of these days. I would be very surprised if they did. I think they are, in a way, trying to project an element of martyrdom. There's no doubt about that to my mind. They're trying to project Bechara Rahul targeted Rahul, that the entire system in a way is working against him. And then when you have events like today where he's being asked, he's being turfed out of his house, all of this builds up in a way to trying to send out the message that, look, the government of the day is determined to get Rahul Gandhi come what may. So I sense that the Congress is hoping over time to build some sympathy and a sense of victimhood for Rahul Gandhi and thereby hope that, uh, you know, the Congress benefits from that sympathy factor. It's happened in the past to Indira Gandhi when she was targeted by the Moraji Desai government. But I keep saying Moraji, Narendra Modi is not Moraji Desai and Rahul Gandhi is not Indira Gandhi. And 2023 is not the 1970s. So we will know in the, in the next few months, starting with Karnataka, whether actually an issue like this has that kind of resonance among the common people. But for now, I think the Congress has decided, let's try and milk it to whatever extent possible by suggesting that the Modi government prima facie is being seen to act in an authoritarian May manner. May I just have one line? What is this martyrdom about? First of all, Rahul Gandhi years ago when he tore the ordinance did not want people convicted to be in parliament. When it came to his own self, he had a different standard where he got convicted, but he wanted to be disqualified. He didn't take a moral stand. Point number two, 32 leaders have been immediately disqualified uh, the moment they are convicted as per Lily Thomas. Now, Supriya can pipe down, wait her turn. This is, this is how debates debate. work. She doesn't need to heckle me. 32 leaders, including six BJP leaders, have been disqualified the moment they were in convicted the as per Lily BJP Thomas. Leaders, there was a month's delay as well. Let There's me, a let me clarify. More, let, more than let that, let me clarify. Richard, let he's, me a, clarify he's a legal voice. What I is, knew you would no, come no, on no, to no, that. The astonishing element, the only astonishing, I mean anybody with, you know, who is, you can go and meet any senior lawyer. Hmm. They are all astounded by the fact that slander has resulted in a two-year criminal defamation. It's only happened once since 1861. Rajdeep, Rajdeep, let me address this. 150 years. Let me address this No, no, point. one minute, one minute, sir. You must, uh, the chronology you of it. You must allow me The complainant, the hmm. complainant seeks a stay from the High Court. Suddenly comes up and wakes Let up in February address. when the judges change and says, no, I want to pursue the case. Seven uh, uh, hearings are there in Can six I weeks. Please come are you really telling me no, is let me address that Kudawala also. serious about the fact that this Rajdi? criminal defamation should lead to disqualification? Now, very good point. It's a fundamental point. Corruption and criminal defamation.